Hey, what's up guys? This is Karate Fox, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make the Caltrain Nippon Shario Gallery Cars. Now, this is part of Matt Yo One's commission of the F40 uh, PH 3 Cat, and he wants some coaches to go along with it, so uh, here it is. And then we have several other variants of this, and don't worry, it's actually not that different from each other. There's just slight block differences. So, first off, this is the cab car. And this is what you're going to put at the end of the train. Now, uh, you can convert this into um, a wheelchair accessible one, or as I have it right now, this is just a bike car. And you can tell by these signs on the side, it's like this yellow, it means bike. Here's what it looks like on the other side. So this is like a bike cab car. And then we have the bike car, not, not a cab. It's just like a standard coach. And then we have uh, this car here. And this is the wheelchair accessible bathroom one. So it's missing windows on this side. And it has a blue sign on the side on both sides actually, like that. And then the last car we have, this is the baggage car. You can tell by the dark uh, green color here on the side. Like that. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it for all the cars that we're going to be building today. So I'm going to be making uh, one base car. And then we're going to modify it to make each of them. So first off, we're going to take out some materials, uh, polish, anisite, uh, block, slab, uh, stone brick wall, stone brick slab, dark oak uh, planks, and dark oak fence gate. Um, what else? Stone brick block. And also take out a gray concrete. So first off, each of these cars are 39 blocks long, excluding the gangways. So let's start first on the gangway. Let's add in um, a dark oak uh, fence gate right here. Add another one to the side, open that up. Then on top, we'll add in a dark oak plank with a stone brick slab to the side of it. And then on top, we'll add in three blocks tall, stone brick walls. And then two polished andesite slabs, and then polished andesite slab underneath. And then on top, we'll add in a gray glass pane, right? Um, lines up right with the wall. And then behind that, we'll add in a polished andesite block. We'll make a two by two inside like that. Add one right here to the side. And a stone brick block underneath that. Then two polished andesite blocks and then stone brick block. All right, then the bottom of this, we'll add in two polished andesite blocks. And then we'll add in three blocks tall, polished andesite blocks on the side, and then one in the center, and polished andesite slabs at the top of the bottom of this. All right, so next we're gonna make this stone brick block 18 blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, like that. All right, so once we have that, we'll add in stone brick wall. We'll make a three by, actually, yeah, just three blocks long, three by two. And then we'll add another one in the middle of this. Then we'll add in a black stone brick walls on either side of it. Then we'll go on the bottom of this, add in polished and site uh, slabs all along this uh, wall and add in another three after that. Then on top, we'll add three blocks wide, stone brick blocks. And then on top of that, three blocks wide, bedrock. Then three blocks wide, stone brick slabs. And then we'll add in a stone brick blocks, two blocks wide, and this is gonna extend all the way back to the front. to be our roof and after we've done that we'll add in stone brick um, actually we'll need this polished black stone brick slab here and then stone brick slabs all the way across the sides of the roof like that then we'll add in a layer of acacia slab all the way across this area at the bottom supposed to be like a red line 
Then we'll add in um, black uh, stained glass block, make it two by two. And then add two blocks tall, polish andesite, and then keep on doing this so that we have five windows here on the side. Add another window. Another window. And then the last window. And then the rest is going to be polish andesite all the way right there. And right behind this, we'll add in uh, this black concrete right behind that black stone wall and polish polish and site right behind the rest all the way across like that behind that wall then we'll add in a stone brick uh, slab right here and we're going to make this go all the way across to the other side then we'll add in stone brick block add a row across all the way then go back here, add two blocks wide, uh, black glass, skip a block two, and then make sure we have five pairs of these windows. And the rest, we're going to fill that in with polish and site blocks. After we've done that, we'll fill in the inside of these windows with uh, black concrete. Then next, we're going to go on the bottom here and add in two blocks wide, gray concrete. Go to the middle here, add gray concrete. I'm going to fill in this entire floor in with gray concrete all the way across. So it should be like this. All right, so next we'll take out a birch fence gate, a gray terracotta, dark oak stairs, diorite wall, polish diorite slab and stairs, and a hopper. So we're gonna make the wheel here, so go here. Right after the slab, skip a block, add gray terracotta. And then we'll add upside down dark oak stairs, two diorite walls, upside down dark oak stairs, and then gray terracotta, add in hoppers, sides of the wheels, polished diorite slabs in the middle, and polished diorite stairs upside down on the sides of that. Then on the inside of this, we'll add in stone brick slabs, across like this. Alright, so after we've done that, we'll add in, um, underneath this area here, add in polish and a side slab, so it extends all the way to the middle. Like this. And then we'll add in a dark oak um, trap door underneath in the middle, all the way across. Like that, to the middle. Let's go on the outer edge, check that out. And also, we need to add in these birch um, fence gate here two blocks like that and open the top one up like that. All right, so next I believe we have to add in that light gray carpet top of this dark oak uh, plank and the inside of this door we're gonna add in black concrete so that's blocked out. Then we'll add in a stone brick slab diagonal to this uh, like that. And then we also need to make this banner so to make the banner we'll make a loom it's actually a pretty simple banner to make. Uh, we'll get a light gray banner with black dye. Put that inside our loom. And we're just going to make a line across the middle of it. And that's pretty much it. So we're going to add in two banners right here in the center of this door. So you got that black line in the middle. Like that. And after we're done with that, we're going to copy what we did on the side and build the other half of this. All right, so once you have the other half, it should look like this. And then we're to copy what we did then on this side and build the other half over here. All right, so once you have both halves of this, we're to make this Caltrain logo on the side. So first off, we're to go onto this side, go to the second window, add in a red concrete in the middle of that, a birch point sticking out, and then we'll add in uh, two polished anisites before and one after, and polish and sites underneath. Then we'll add in a black stone button right next to the red concrete in the middle. And that's it for the logo. And we're going to add another logo for the other side on the same end. So, this, so on this side, it's going to line up underneath this pillar. Second pillar here, a birch button, the two polish and sites in the front, one in the back, and polish and sites slaps across the bottom half. And then a black stone bun. Alright. 
Then we'll add in a blackstone brick slab on this side, right above uh, that window like that, just a little vent. Okay, then we'll add in a stone button. And this is going to be underneath this blackstone brick slab. And then another stone button down over here. We're also going to add in a black concrete in the middle of this. So replace that. It's going to be our number. And there also will be this red and white logo. In real life, it's like red and white and black. So we're going to add in smooth quartz and red concrete like that. Okay, now I'm going to go on to the other side and do similar thing just the other direction so add black concrete here and then the white and red here logo like that i have no idea what this exactly is i couldn't really get like a close-up view of it and then we'll add in a stone button uh it's going to be right up there right next to that bedrock uh what else oh yeah let's go on the bottom here we're going to add in a smooth uh, stone slab here and then we're going to add a skeleton skull right here to the side of the hopper other side do the same thing and go back onto this side add in a smooth stone slab so skip a block uh, actually skip two blocks here away from the hopper and add in five blocks long of the slabs like that and go back over here skip two blocks and add in uh, these three polish and a site slabs and then a spruce fence gate and we're going to open that up towards the slab all right so for the other side we'll add in underneath here um actually i think it lines up with the other one so add in three polish and a site slabs here then we'll add in iron trapdoor here and then polish uh, and a site slab like that then we'll go over here and we'll delete these two trap doors, add in smooth stone slabs, and delete this one here, add a dark oak fence gate, and we'll add in birch fence gate, two blocks wide here, open them both up, that, and we'll add in a smooth stone slab, and that's going to be, actually I don't even know, it's not even smooth stone, it's just regular stone, that's going to be gap of two away from this hopper. So it should be like that. Next, we'll go on the roof and we'll add in two of these anisite blocks in a diagonal right there in the center, lines up the doors. And there's actually one detail that I forgot to add in for the base car, and that is a smooth stone slab. And that should be on this side only, right in between the space here. And I believe that's pretty much it for our standard basic car now we're going to modify this so i'm going to make some copies of this all right so we have all the copies now and uh, i'm going to be going over all these regular sort of cars and then at the end we'll make the cab car since that's a little more complex so it's actually very simple to convert it to the bike car it's just literally it's just like this sign here on the side so we'll go um right on this side and delete these two blocks closer to this end and we'll add um, yellow concrete and an oak plank like that. Go on the other side, do the same thing, yellow concrete and oak plank like that. And that's pretty much it on how to make the bike car. See, I told you it was really easy. And then the next car, the handicap uh, wheelchair accessible bathroom car. So go on this side and we'll make um, uh, two blocks here. It's going to be a white concrete and then lapis lazuli underneath on the other side and do the same thing. So white concrete, lapis lazuli, and then go back onto this side and we'll have to delete these two windows here. So just fill them in with polish in a site blocks like that. And that's how you make uh, the wheelchair one. Actually, we also do need to uh, skip two blocks here and add in polished black stone. Brick slab like that, and that's how you make the wheelchair accessible bathroom one. Now for the luggage car, uh, that's going to be that dark prism rain um, at the bottom. So that's going to be close to the door here, dark prism rain, and then smooth quartz at the top. And go on the other side, and let's do the same thing, dark prism rain, 
and some cords on top. So that's how you make the luggage car, the wheelchair car, um, the bike car, and now I'm gonna make the bike car, cap car. So for this cap, what we'll do here, take out a red concrete, smooth quartz slab, uh, black concrete, and also, yeah, that's it for now. So go right here, punch a hole both sides, add a black concrete there. Then above it, we'll add in a smooth quartz slab. And next to that on both sides, it's gonna be red concrete with smooth quartz in the middle. And then we'll add in smooth quartz diagonally down. And the middle of this is gonna be um, another brick slab. That right above it, we'll add in a birch fence gate, open that up. And actually this thing is actually, uh, my bad, this is a smooth quartz slab instead like that. And the middle of that is gonna be a black concrete right behind it like that. Then at the bottom we'll add in smooth quartz on the sides again, uh, red concrete, two of them on the diagonal, both sides. Then left hand side is going to be a little yellow concrete. So let's add that. And then add birch fence gates on the sides of this, open them both up like that. And then we'll add in a dark oak bun right above that fence gate, both sides. And then at the bottom here, we'll need to make a plow. So take out stone brick stairs, delete this whole row here, add upside down on the edges. And right side up, and it's gonna be going across the middle of this. Try to do this right. And <laughs> maybe I have to delete this block just to do it faster. Like that, and let me fix this rail here and the dark oak fence gate. And next we're gonna delete these bottom corners, replace it with red concrete sides and a smooth quartz block right here. Let's also add in a stone bun in the bottom corners. And underneath that we'll add in this uh, jungle fence gate. And then on the sides we'll add in a light gray banner Cross like that, other side, same thing. All right, then on um, the roof area, we'll add in light gray uh, carpet, three blocks wide here. Then we'll take a snow layer, stone button, and a redstone repeater. So we'll add in three snow layers in the middle of this. And I'm gonna make this go, make an L shape like that. And then we'll add a stone button in the back, stone buttons either side the middle here. And then the redstone repeater facing towards front. I'm gonna open it up by one like that. I wonder if I opened it by two. I don't know. Does it even matter? It doesn't really matter that much. So it looks like this. Then we'll go here on the side, delete these two black glass blocks. And we'll replace them with panes. Because this is a special window for the cab. And we'll add an iron bar to the side of that other side. Do the same thing like that. We'll also add in a uh, polished black stone uh, brick slab right above this window, like that on the side. Uh, but once we're done with that, that is pretty much it on how to make the Caltrain uh, Nippon Shario Gallery Cars in Minecraft. Thanks to Matt Yo one for commissioning this video and making this video possible. If you guys do enjoy the video, hit the like button down below, subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.